Welcome to the premiere round of web. How excited are you to have people finally see the movie? I'm um, pretty excited. I mean, it's been years that we've been working on this thing, and the time has finally come to unveil it to the public. So, yeah. so, so, uh, okay. So, I'm a diehard Spider-Man fan. I've been reading the comics since I was six. You know, I think it was Amazing Spider-Man as a 216. Yes. Okay, 216. So I'm like, how are they gonna? You know, I've seen the film. How are they gonna like get around the whole Spider-Man of it all, having Madame Web and not Spider-Man? And you figured it out. How did you crack that? Well. I always wanted to tell a story about a woman who was seeing the future, thought she was seeing the future, and I'd be like, if you thought you were seeing the future, if you saw visions of the future, you would probably thought that, probably think that you were losing your mind. And so telling that story and then finding the character within the Spider-Verse, that we could told that story, and in searching through everybody, Madam Web has no backstory. And so that really gave us a lot of freedom and all the... I mean, all the SJ, everybody, the freedom to like tell the story that they felt would be, you know, right now, but still set in 2003, so that you could have the song "Toxic." What's your take on that? Uh, my 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 take on well, first of all, I agree with with with, with Karam. Uh, just so you know, Karam started the entire process, and then he's my he's my pitch man. Oh, my, <laughs> my writing partner vanished. Uh, and then the thing, one of the things that we added to it was the the three Spider Women, who we meet them in a place where they haven't become yet. So really, one of the reasons we said it back in time is so that first of all, Dakota Johnson could be in the movie. Yeah. Uh, but most importantly, uh, to see three young women who um, you know are destined, maybe hopefully if things go right, to become great heroes in a place where they are absolutely not that where we start. Uh, which is the essence of the Spider-Man character, it's I the think. essence of Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man is, I mean, I think the reason why people love Spider-Man, or I do, is that he just seemed the closest to, to me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was grounded. Grounded, grounded yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to get girls, that kind of stuff. Like, he was grounded, and uh, so then in telling another Spider-Man story, or in the Spider-Verse, we'll say, it was like, we wanted to just take a, a woman who didn't have any special powers and didn't know what was in store for her. Well, you know, God willing... You know, the movie opens this weekend. Big box office, big success. Sony says, let's do a sequel. Have you thought about where the story will go? I mean, I've got plenty of ideas. <laughs> and uh, after the movie, I'm going to track down the executive in charge of this and tell them tell them all of them. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> oh, sure. We have, I mean, there are, well, once, one of the wonderful things about this movie is that not only Miss Madam Web, you know, becoming a hero, but you have uh, these three uh, incredible women who also are on their own journeys, both together and apart. So um, there, there are a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of character. I mean, and, and to say nothing of Ezekiel Sims, too. And, uh, yes. Who's a villain who maybe won't be quite so villainous at some point in the future. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank guys. you. Thanks. Congratulations. I, I really enjoyed the film. I